Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our all property type, right? So now in this video, I want to insert some of the add property type. Now let's do that work. For doing this, that is one of the button I have already said. Now our first job is we have to do, we have to create one of the route, right? Simply, I want to create one of the route. I name it as a add type. Okay, I saw what the name actually you choose right now. I name it as the add type. Now this type of one of the route I want to create, better I copy it and here I have already created one of the group route, right? So that means group controller. So for the reasons here, we don't need to call that controller every time. I have already called this uh, our controller as a property type controller, right? So here now I want to create one of the new route. So our route name will be as a add type. I name it as a add type. URL will be as a add type. Now I want to create another new method as a add type. Now this type of one of the method I want to create in our property type controller. So if you go to that our property type controller here, I want to create on the new method that will be as a public function and that will be as a add type. Great. Okay, great. Now I want to do um, like here after that. Okay, after that I want to return. So the, I'm just simply use that return view. Return view will be our which one in our backend. That will be our type folder here. Now I want to create another new file new file that will be as a add type okay now the only one of the return I, mean, I simply return on the view page so that will be enough so now i want to create this page as a add type in our backend and then type and here i want to create on the new file click as a save as name it as a add type dot blade dot php great so our first job is we have to do we have to support our extended admin dashboard here i simply support it and also we have to make it as a and section so i make it as a and and section great so i have already completed some of the form like for the change password area i have already done this job right better i want to do if you go to um, that is actually in our admin if you go to that our change password what exactly i have done in particular that position like you can see that is one of the form right so now there is the form i want to actually take so if you go to our admin and then the change password and from to the change password that is also one of the page contained right so better i want to copy everything okay i want to copy everything from our admin change password and now in our admin type area i want to paste it right and also that will be the same as the admin dashboard and from here that is our page contain our left side part we don't need it okay here actually we need that our eight and left side that if you select this dev dev is uh, started from to this position you can see now i want to simply remove this one okay i want to remove this part great now that will be another things here i want to simply take one field right now first i remove it and also there is another dev i remove it okay great great so then that, that is always a save Perfect. So now I want to do and to change that name that will be as a add property property type. Okay, I name it as a type. Great, great. Now that should be loaded if you click as a save all and now I want to go there. Okay, I want to refresh it. Right now we don't need it. I close it and also here we have to run again our optimize. Now I simply run as a PHP artisan optimize. Now refresh it. Now if you go to our add property. Hmm, you can see it's now successfully loaded, right? Here it's successfully loaded. Now that should be only two of this field. Here are only two of this field that I want to insert as a type name and then type icon, right? So now let's do that work for doing this here. That is that one field. I want to change that name. That will be as a type name. Okay, type name. And I want to update that our type will be as a text type. Here our name. Our name should be as a uh, type name okay type name if you want to use or name will be as a type name and also here if you want to add that default validation you can actually add it which i have already discussed about that things with you right now we don't need any id auto complete also i don't need it i simply remove it and now that will be our type name or if there have any error it should be get this error and also literally i will discuss about how can add some of the javascript validation an error will be as a type error so as i told you friend step by step everything will be very clear and step by step we will go more deep so now that is very simple one of the code application right now we are doing because that is also needed for our project okay great so now that is our first part i want to copy it and also want to paste it so now that will be our another one as a type icon 
okay for the type icon i want to use as per our database field name as a type icon so now that will be as a type icon type icon and arrow will be as a type icon great okay great now we have to do first of all i want to check it if you click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it now that should be two field one is the type name another is the type icon great okay great so here what exactly we have to do i want to simply create another new route here also we don't need any nc type multi platform data we don't need it i want to create another new method will be as a post action will be as a store type okay i use that as a store a store type now this type of one of the route i want to create that will be as a add property type and if you go to web route i want to create another new route and after that i paste it so now that will be our name our name will be as a um, store type i copy it now that will be as a store and then type i want to update our url as a store type i want to create another new method as a store type okay now i simply copy it now we have to create this store type method in our property type controller now go to that property type controller here now to create another new one as a public function and our store type okay great great so here i simply take it so now if you want to add some of the validation and also that will be one of the post method so i make it as a post and when you pass any post also you have to get that our requested data so here we have to pass that as a request and then that will be as a dollar request okay now i want to do and to add some of the validation which i have already done in our admin controller if you go into the admin controller you can see that is actually our validation right you can also use some of the validation better i copy it and now after that i want to done to paste it now our field name or two of this field i want to do that is our type name i make the type name will be as a required and also another one another field name as a type icon type icon also i want to do and to make it as a required okay they have no need to confirm i simply remove it great and here also if you want to make our type name should be as a required and um, also if you want to add another one as a type name should be on as a unique you can also do this work in that case we have to do we have to add another function as unique okay so that will be as a unique okay so that will be as a unique and it will be unique in our which table here also you have to do you have to assign it it should be that means our type name should be as a unique in our particular this table right so that is actually our particular table now here i want to do to add it that our table name as a property type so right now you cannot have, uh, add the same name <laughs> multiple time it should be unique in particular this database table as a property type table okay and also you can assign some of the maximum length if you want to add then that will be as a maximum and maximum how many character you want to allocate i want to allocate that 200 okay that means a maximum 200 character it will be allowed rather than that will actually get some of the error notification great now after that i want to insert this data in our property type so if you want to insert it we have to insert it by the model as a property type and here i want to do i want to insert okay so that will be the insert function and here i want to do i want to add it our all that field name our field uh, one if you go if you in your database the one field name as a type name i copy it so one will be as a type name and type name will be our which one that will be as a request a requested field name requested field name means if you go there right now i pass that our requested input field name as a type name so that will be our type name okay great and also there is another one better i copy it and also after that after that i paste it now that will be our another one here if you go or database table or another field name as a type icon so that will be as a type icon as a requested field name requested field name also as a type icon okay so now that will be as a type icon great and also make that sure that should be on the semicolon okay great so now that's all we have to do now two of these data field should be inserted in our database table as a property type and after that if you want to show some of the notification that i have already done i have already loaded our toaster message right now i want to do under loaded this type of the toaster message i copy it now i simply after that i paste it so now that will be display as a property okay property property type um in, in, in created 
created successfully okay now this type of the message it will be display our alert type will be as a success so here i have already done our toaster job now that should be displayed and after that um, successfully inserted it should be written that one of the route that i have created i want to then to pass it our route name our route name will be as a all type okay here then should that should be redacted that's all okay friend that's all you have to do if you now go click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it first of all i want to do i want to check that validation here again we have to run optimize okay php artisan optimize is running now refresh it yeah perfect now if you click as a save changes hmm, you can see it's now perfectly getting our all the default validation okay that is our type field name is required type icon name is also required okay so that is our default validation which is very very nice great okay and also literally i will discuss about how can add some of the um, javascript validation so then without loading that page it will be actually get this validation okay now i want to do to as add some of the name if you go like as a residential okay i simply copy it as a residential and that is also one of the icon if you also want to get it like if you go to our all categories in our font in that is one of the category dot html and here you can see there are the different type of actually icon so if you want to find out it uh, there is a different type of icon and like if you go to again in our font in if you go to that our courses into the font in into the font in the page name as a category dot html uh, if you go to that category okay if you that is actually categories dot html if you open with the sublink test and here right now body that is our preloaded we don't need it i minimize it i minimize the header i minimize that our mobile there is a page title and here you can see that is actually all that icon so icon our icon you can see that is actually our icon class as icon one rather than that will be as icon two rather than that will be as icon three icon four and icon five okay so that is actually simply i want to do to actually call this class then th that should be work okay so i want to do to insert only that icon class name so if you want to do this work that i copy it okay i copy it and then i want, I want to do and to create this type of one of the type as the apartment office floor duplex building and a warehouse and that will be actually our icon okay icon one two something like that now first of all i want to insert this data as apartment okay if you go i want to make it as an apartment and apartment will be icon I want to use that icon one okay so that will be as the icon one now click as a save changes yes you can see it's now successfully inserted that is a property type create successfully and it's written redirect to our all type page it's also successfully display our name as a type name icon also displayed in here and there is edit and delete great okay now on to insert another property like here i simply added some of the demo data as an office because that will be also needed so as i told you friend step by step actually we will go a little deep now that will be as a icon 2 okay i want to simply save it and then i want to insert another data as a floor so now that will be our another data i want to insert as a floor and for the floor that will be the icon 3 okay i simply added that icon at three now click as a save changes great i want to add another two another two will be as a du um, duplex okay that will be the duplex add the duplex for the duplex i want to use that icon three and that means icon four right so that will be the icon icon four okay now click as a save changes perfect perfect so it's now successfully inserted our data so you know next video i want to complete that edit update and delete functionality okay so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video